Hey, Keyforge Connor here. So today we're talking about another ruling video, which is going to be quite short. It was a bit odd to me though when I first saw this. I, I believe I first saw it on a Reddit post about someone being confused when it comes to Ronnie Wrist Clock's effect. So let's read him for a bit. So he's a two-part shadows creature. He has a play effect, which says steal one. And the other part of the effect says if your opponent has seven amber or more, steal two instead. Now the question about this ruling was whether he checks if your opponent has seven or more amber after you steal one already. Now to me at least this question seemed a bit silly because the card itself does state instead but from what I read on the reddit post the redditor was just confused because he saw a youtube video talking about the new shadows cards and that confused them as to how Ronnie wrist clocks actually works. I don't know because I haven't seen the video myself but I do feel like him sighing instead is a clear enough indicator to know that he does steal one if the other condition is not met because of the instead tech. So yeah don't worry about if after stealing your opponent is still going to have seven or more. If he just has seven or more when you play Ronnie that's good enough. You're still gonna steal. So don't worry about any special timings with Ronnie. It's just pretty much a better urchin. There is no Fagin to return him but Fagin was never the craziest of cards. He was good. Don't get me wrong but he wasn't that crazy. But anyway Ronnie Wrist Clock's really good card and it has an instead effect. So you have to steal one or two if your opponent has seven or more amber. That's how it works. Anyway as I said it's a pretty short video for today. I will have some more longer videos coming up when it comes to some more complicated rulings. But I do want to get some sort of small ruling archive going where people can just check rulings on YouTube, see my videos and be like, oh yeah, that's that's how this card should work and everything's nice, ordered and separate. I don't want to do bundles because when I do bundles, that's just going to make people watch the whole bundle and it won't be as see-through as it should be in my opinion. Anyway, I digress. What do you guys think about Ronnie Wrist Clocks? I personally feel he's amazing. Do you have any other opinions you'd like to share about him? Are there any rulings you would like me to cover in the future? I'll gladly reply to all of those recommendations. Anyway, on the Keyforge Corner, I hope you guys keep on forging those keys. But hi, I'll see you tomorrow.